figured I'd uh, show some of my non-entomologist friends what's going on here besides the photos, but that's an empty one. This one here has this uh, not sure what kind of wasp it would be, but it's, it's a wasp that collects grass to divide its cells. This one's way further along because there's the uh, cocoon, but it started out as this. This one here. So the mother wasp, she would have collected all these kitty dids or grass crickets, whatever you want to call them, and a whole whack of them, divided it with grass, and then she would have laid an egg in there. And then when the egg hatches, this larvae, can't get a good focus here, would eat them all. And that's what this guy's doing. And it is alive, if I get it to move. I assure you that it's it's been moving in there. And this is a leaf cutter bee. Leaf cutter sections in there. These are all really good pollinators too, actually. And um, I saw a random leaf right there. I took a photo of it. But she obviously went down the wrong channel and she's been making mistakes and dropping leaves and panicking and coming back out. And this bee here, this is a hoplitus. It's, it's related to the mason bee. It's, it's in the megakillid family as well. Uh, they're just like a black bee that are a little bit skinnier than a mason bee. But same thing, they use mud and they bring in pollen and nectar, lay an egg and then it eats it. And then once it's fully formed, it will spin a cocoon. Much like this one, instead of being vegetarian, it eats uh, insects. So these insects are actually alive, they're just paralyzed. And speaking of paralyzed, uh, this one here is kind of cool. So here's a pompilid wasp. Now I need something to poke this with because I don't... Okay, I'm just going to get a stick here. Okay, so here's a little stick. Now what she does is she goes out and she captures spiders. And she stings them to uh, stun them. And she even goes to the extent of clipping the legs off of them. So here's one that has no legs on it. And these are still alive. I don't know if I can get it to move, but uh, so there's a spider with no legs on it. A couple. And they're paralyzed. And then the mother lays an egg. That, see that one moving? So that one's moving still. There it is. It's, trying, it's, it's kind of all messed up because it's all paralyzed. And the legs are all gone, right? So and so it's inside that little mud chamber that the wasp has laid in there. And then um, she lays an egg on it, and when the egg hatches, uh, it eats the spider, I think. I think that's an egg right underneath the abdomen. I can't quite tell. But I'll put these back in, and uh, I'll rear them out. So in a, I don't know when these will emerge, maybe next spring or maybe uh, in a few weeks uh, when the wasp comes out, I'll identify which pompilla it is. And same with this one, once it's um, uh, pupated and then goes through its metamorphosis, it'll come out as an adult wasp. So you can see from my finger, that it's, it's a decent sized wasp, and those, that's all the food that it's preying on. Okay.